Numerous fatalities and serious accidents have occurred when individuals working or operating equipment near a high wall were struck with material that fell from the high wall. To increase your awareness of high wall safety, let's follow this supervisor as he makes his rounds at his operation. How you doing? Oh, fine, and you? Real good. Come on over here a minute, would you please? Sure. Haven't seen you around before. Uh, you with Acme Tire? Oh uh, yeah, I'm uh, Bob Johnson. I just started with Acme about six weeks ago. It's changing a broken stud on the hub. Ah, uh, Dan Wilson. I'm the superintendent here. Uh, did uh, somebody give you site safety training when you came out today? Yeah, when I checked in at the office, uh, a guy ran me through it. Hard hat, safety glasses, you know, the whole works. I think his name was uh, Jack Reed or something? Yeah, Jack Reeves. Yeah, he's the plant foreman. Um, did he say anything about working uh, be between a machine and a high wall? Yeah, yeah, he did mention several things. Uh, why, is there something in particular? Well, yeah, we've got a policy. When we have a machine close to the wall, we try to move it away, or at least move it around, so that uh, we don't have anybody, you know, in harm's way working between the machine and the, and the wall, in case something should, should come off. I see. So you're saying I should have uh, had someone come and move this loader before I started working on that side? Or better yet, just move it across the road. You sure know how to get your point across. Dan. Pretty good. Why don't you come over here a minute? What you doing here? Cutting a piece of pipe for a temporary board. Did you think about maybe bringing that out away from the high wall here? No, I don't think it'd take that long. It'd be a little safer if you did. All right, I'll go get some help to move the pipe. Okay, good. All right. Thanks. Boy, what a day. First that contractor between the high wall and the loader. I don't believe this. This is three times today. Mac, come over here. I don't understand this. What is it today? Everybody's working under a high wall. Calm down, Dan, before you have a stroke. What are you talking about? Well, you're the third person today that I've found working under a high wall. Don't you know you could get hurt or maybe even killed? Well, you're right, but that's why I did a visual inspection of all the high walls around here before I started. But you know, you're down here by yourself. If something happened to you, it'd be forever before anybody found you. Well, that's true, but if you look behind you, Jonathan's right there. Okay, Mac, you did it by the book. But can we do something to make this a little safer in the future? Well, we could put plugs and receptacles at the pumps, but they have to be weatherproof and rugged, and they're really expensive. Well, maybe so, but it would make the job a whole lot safer. You know, you can replace a cable, but you can't replace a life. Remember, to protect yourself when working beside high walls, always keep the equipment between you and the high wall. When possible, move the work away from the high wall, and do not use the base of the high wall as an area for storing supplies or parking equipment. Always do a visual inspection of the high wall, looking for loose, cracked, or unstable materials. For more information about high wall safety, visit our website at www.msha.gov.